from Canterbury Trails Farm. And uh, like the great winter storm of, what was that, 2020, 2022, 2020, we now have power outage. And this, we had big storms move in about 6 a.m. this morning, and we spent a harrowing hour in our hallway. Chris was up at the homestead, and he was unaffected. So it was me and the kids and the cats. Lost power about 6, 12 a.m., and we have not had power since. We're now going on about 8 o'clock at night. ERCOT is the people or the people that make the power, like generate the power, and Encore is the company that delivers the power. And then we have individual like billing, like like we have Ciro, so they handle like the billing. And I don't know. It's anyway, it's multi layered. I'm assuming maybe it's that way in other states. I don't, and Encore is in charge of getting the power back. So it's not that we don't have enough power. Like during the winter storm, there was everything froze. We had no power. We have power. Just the systems that give us the power were wiped out in the storm. Like in like over at one point, there were over 600,000 different addresses out of power in the Northeast Metroplex, Dallas, Fort Worth area. Last I heard on the radio, it was up to over a million. My town is basically out. The whole town. The mailman said they were sorting mail with headlamps. So uh, <laughs> kudos to the mail for coming and picking up our eBay packages. Um, I didn't think the mail was coming. Anyway, I thought I'd do a short video. Uh, I know I don't do as many videos as I used to. That's because I have another business and I write for the magazines. And the, the other business has really picked up in the last two years. So somewhere along the line, you know, I had to pare back. And since I've um, taught you a lot of things that I do on a regular basis, it's hard to keep coming up with new things. Um, so, I mean, I do this to teach you what I know that I've learned from other people. So I'm sharing knowledge is what I'm doing. Not Anyway, so I don't have as many as usual. But I thought I'd do a quick one on this because I used these during the winter storm and we're using them again. And these are the Ready Hour 100 Hour Candles. I was concerned during the winter storm because they will freeze. Um, they're like a mixture of paraffin wax and some other stuff. We got down to pretty cold. I think we got down to 38 degrees at one point. But as far as it was in a protected cupboard, so I don't know if it would have got down you know, low enough for it to freeze for us. But other people, you know, it could if you live in a different part of the country. But anyway, so we don't, we're not in any danger of that. In fact, we were blessed that it's about 80 80 degrees or 79 80 degrees and it's been in the 90s so it's been really nice today and we were able to open the windows but it's fixing to get dark and we were I took some hot dogs out and I had a whole sterno stove set up out there boiled some hot dogs earlier today I went out and made coffee and put that in a thermos I know priorities <laughs> we're good you know because we have and both sides of us um, all, and behind us are all preppers and ex-military and so everyone's good off the hunt the ready hour candles you can get these on my patriot supply and I will put a link I love these um, they come in this clear plastic uh, container they have a cap I know it's probably hard for you to see let me see if I open this they have a nice cap that goes on the top the wick itself, you can use pliers to pull it out to make your flame bigger. But if you adjust that wick differently than the manufacturer adjustment, um, your candle isn't going to last 100 hours because the longer the wick, the bigger your flame will be and it's going to burn faster. Take off the plastic wrapper, peel that off, and it also comes in. Uh, this one came in a baggie and it was also in another like Ziploc type baggie too. So I have a ton of these anyway. We always put our candles in glass and metal globes at the very least and these little um, locky door kind of things too because one, we have cats. So if you have small children or just children, that's a good idea. If you're going to have it somewhere, you know, like on a table in the living room or something, that's a good idea. Just It's just more protection, especially if another storm comes up on you and you, you don't want to just have a, a raw candle sitting there because if something were to fall or you know ceiling collapse it's going to catch on fire whereas if it's in one of these things it's probably going to you know extinguish itself so that's your hope anyway but it does protect it from cats and all that kind of stuff accidental bumpage so uh, you all you do is you unpeel the plastic wrapper and you just light the wick and it just self-adjusts and uh, before you 
if you when you're done with it, it has a little cap. You just put the cap back on. I don't know if you can see the little cap in here. There you go. Um, and if for some reason um, it looks, you know, it's it, they recommend to trim about a fourth of an inch. But I've found when I burn them, there's only about a fourth of an inch there. So I uh, I just look at it, and if it looks really crusty burnt, then I'll trim a little bit of the really black part away. It just because if you leave a dirty wick, it's going to be a sooty sooty kind of black burn is what the deal is there's no odor it's tightly contained in there so there's no refilling or messing around with things it's just there you go and the cap keeps it secure um, i've ordered these through the mail for years and have never had some people say they leak when they get them i've never had one leak um, and they've always been packed very secure i order mine from my patriot supply you can get them on amazon too but like I said, I feel confident ordering from My Patriot Supply. It's a very reliable co uh, company that I use for all, all, almost all of our prepping food needs, except for the stuff I do on my own. Anyway, so I know this is a short video, and we are in the middle of this power outage. It's supposed to be a, a multi-day power outage, so, you know, let's pray for the best. Uh, we have, I started as soon as the tornado and the high winds, we had hurricane strength winds, as soon as this danger was gone and all the scary harrowing terrifying sirens stopped i immediately when the power was out i knew what was happening i knew what was probably going down and i started filling everything with water i mean we have stored water but it's if i can have fresh water right out of the tap I, you know for a while i don't have to boil anything until you know that water's been sitting there and um, we have cats and you know for coffee and drink you know we have bottled water for drinking but you know for whatever cooking like boiling the hot dogs if i needed but right now we're good i'm not sure probably it's usually about after 24 hours i think is i'll have to i need to go look that up is when you start getting boiling notices I noticed the water had a more pungent bleach smell so i'm thinking they're probably dumping things into the system right now to prolong the cleanliness value and for lack of words anyway um but i'm sure we're going to be on boil notice soon here and just sort of getting ready for, we've got probably about 30 minutes of daylight left. It's getting darker and we have more storms coming in tonight. So I'm just going around trying to get everything ready for tonight. This has been Canterbury Trails Farm and with Ready Hour, 100-hour candle, emergency candle, and from my Patriots. We'll talk to you soon.